Hello, my name is Bernie Wolfstorff. I'm the managing partner of WR Immigration, a firm with nine offices throughout the United States that's now over 35 years old. It is a great pleasure to speak with you all today about the new EB-5 program. On March 15 of 2022, President Biden signed a new EB-5 immigrant investor law, which revamped the EB-5 program in several key ways. In today's presentation, I will highlight the key aspects of this new law, which will impact potential investors. Number one, the minimum investment amount has now been increased from 500,000 to 800,000, but only if you invest in a rural area, a targeted high unemployment area, or an infrastructure project. A total of 32% of the annual allocation have now been provided to these set-aside, fast-track visa lanes. And, of course, they are very popular, even though the amount has increased. If you do not qualify for a set-aside in the rural high unemployment or infrastructure arena, then you have to pay the minimum investment amount of one million and fifty thousand. So, for obvious reasons, demand is very high for the rural high unemployment and infrastructure projects, which have a fast track set aside. Now, the fast track set aside is not that important unless you are from a backlogged country. At the moment, that's only China. But in the past, India and Vietnam have both been backlogged. So many people from those countries will also seek out the fast track set aside categories. Now, the single most important aspect of this new law, which impacts investors, is the ability to file a concurrent EB-5 petition. That is, you file the I-526 petition and you can simultaneously file for an adjustment of status, which will give you interim immigration benefits, including the right of your children to go to school, including public schools, that's children under 21. Number two, after a few months, the right to work in the United States, that means obtain an employment authorization document, which is unrestricted, and you can work in any area throughout the United States. And thirdly, after you file a concurrent application, you can obtain an advanced parole travel document, which allows you to leave the United States and re-enter while the application is pending. This concurrent procedure is highly, highly desirable because while waiting for the green card, you're waiting in the United States. And after a few months, you get all the benefits of a green card, including the right to work, travel, and attend school, which is the reason most people decide to immigrate to the United States. The concurrent filing presents an enormous advantage for potential immigrants seeking to enter the United States. If you're already here on an F1 student visa or OPT or H1 or L1, it's relatively simple. If you, however, are seeking to enter the United States on a tourist visa, you do have to be cautious. One cannot enter as a tourist with an intention to apply for a green card. That is known as preconceived intent, and you will be refused admission at the airport or worse. If, however, you are present in the United States as a visitor, Let's assume hypothetically you came on a family holiday and you'd been here for a month or two and you call me, Bernie Wolstorff, and I explain the program to you and you say, well, wow, that sounds great. I think I'll decide to stay. Then it is legal to apply for concurrent adjustment under the new EB-5 program. So as long as you did not enter with an intention to file an adjustment, and as long as you've been here for at least 90 days, 
You can then file an adjustment of status in the United States, obtain a work permit and travel permit after a few months, and lawfully remain in the United States. Now, it's much better if you enter on a company transfer visa, for example, an L1 or H1B professional work visa, but those are quite difficult visas to obtain. But if you do have an H or L, you don't even have to wait for the advance parole. You can file your one-step adjustment and leave literally the next day and come back in when required. So for further information regarding the EB-5 program, please feel free to email me. My email is my name, Bernard, B-E-R-N-A-R-D, Bernard at wolfstorff.com. Wolfstorff is wolf like the animal, then an S and a D-O-R-F. So it's Bernard at Wolfstorff, W-O-L-F, S for Sam, D for David, O-R-F.com. Bernard at Wolfstorff.com. This is Bernie Wolfstorff reporting from Los Angeles. Delighted to update you on the new EB-5 program and look forward to being of assistance Please email me if you have any questions. Love to talk and see how we can help you with your journey to the United States via the EB-5 program. Thank you so much, everyone. Mm -hmm.